What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And I'm really excited about this camera because uh, this is the first uh, cinema camera that, um, that we ever had. And uh, we're actually going to be using this for our uh, live stream for our church. Um, I work for our church and um, due to the pandemic, we have gone... Uh, digital and virtual and we were doing a lot of things online and and our Sunday services are also included in um, in doing things digitally so right now we're making we're transitioning into doing live stream and so we are so excited to be using this camera this is the first cinema camera that uh, we've ever used um, prior to that we've been using uh, the Sony uh, mirrorless cameras. I'm shooting with the Sony a6500 currently right now uh, shooting this video and so without further ado let's go on with the unboxing. All right, so one of the things I'm most excited about is the uh, having the ability to shoot uh, ProRes on this camera. I mean, of course, uh, I will need um, some accessories. Uh, I think I'll need a uh, hard drive to shoot in a ProRes. Um, the good thing about this camera is that you can attach a, a hard drive, external hard drive, using the uh, USB-C uh, connection. All right, so let's open this up. I'm trying to open this without breaking the box. And it's not opening. <laughs> All, right, All right, there you go. All right. Welcome. Started. Thank you. Download instruction manual. Getting started. A sticker. And it comes with uh, a copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is pretty cool. And it comes in a SD card right here, as you can see. Uh, the software is uh, in this SD card, DaVinci Resolve Studio. And I believe this is, yeah, this is a uh, version 16. So that's gonna be cool. So for DaVinci Resolve, you can use that as an editing program and you can also use that for color grading. And it comes with a plug, a uh, power adapter. So you can power the, the camera rather than using batteries. And these are all the different connections, uh, depending where you live. Um, I'm in the US, so I'll be using this adapter over here. I can just plug that in, let's see. Um, I believe it goes this way. Yep. And it comes with a battery. It uses a uh, same batteries as the Canon battery, uh, as the Canon, Canon cameras, uh, LPE6 batteries. And here is the camera. Now, for something that's called a pocket camera, this is definitely not a camera that you can fit in your pocket. This is actually pretty big um, to be called a pocket camera. But nonetheless, it is feels pretty sturdy. Um, feels exactly like holding a DSLR, um, especially coming from uh, shooting with Canon DSLRs in the past. So it, it definitely has a very uh, familiar feel to it as I'm holding it right now with this, uh, uh, with this grip over here. So definitely, definitely nice. 
Um, and these are all the buttons, pretty straightforward. And this camera, particular one, uses a micro four thirds mount. Now I use Canon lenses and I would need an adapter for that, a micro four thirds adapter to a EF mount lens. All right, and this is a pretty big LCD screen. Uh, the only downside with this screen is that it it's a fixed screen. You can't you can't swivel the screen. You can't um, turn it out and uh, turn it around, unlike the uh, the Canon cameras or or even the uh, the Sony cameras where you can f kind of flip out. But um, you know you can fix that by um, you know getting a monitor, uh, external monitor for it. Plug the battery in there. Uh, connect the battery in there. Mm -hmm. And it has all these different connections. Here you can plug in a microphone and a headphone, uh, microphone and headphone jack. And then here it uses an HDMI port for for an output display. What I like about this is that it uses the actual HDMI port and not the micro or the mini HDMI ports like like most cameras. And you can also plug in a mini XLR, uh, a microphone using a mini XLR port. And this is also the plug for the power adapter over here. And this is the USB-C port where you can plug in an external hard drive to do your raw recordings or even uh, I think, I believe ProRes. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you can do it on the SD card, but it also depends on the type of SD card that you use. Um, there's still a lot that you know I need to uh, learn about this camera. Let's see if there's anything else underneath. And there is nothing else. All right, so there you have it. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Try saying that 10 times fast. Thanks for watching.